Hi, I'm Tony. Welcome to Sports Bike Shop's review of the Revit Eclipse 2 textile jacket. Now, what is it they say? If it ain't broken, don't fix it. Well, the original Revit Eclipse jacket was massively popular, so it makes sense that they've changed very little with this, the Revit Eclipse 2. It's a really simple summer only textile jacket. The original became pretty much the go-to really when riders wanted an extra jacket to have ready for those really hot days. It was simple, it came from a trusted brand and it had a relatively low price of £130. Funnily enough, the Eclipse 2 is simple, it comes from the same trusted brand and it still costs £130. So let's run through the key info on the Eclipse 2 and see whether it's going to eclipse the Eclipse. There are large sections of mesh on the front, the back, and also inside the sleeves. There's only a thin Airtex lining on the inside of the jacket, so air flows through here very freely. It's something I can attest to after spending about 100 miles or so out on the road. The conditions were pretty cool at the time, which makes it easier to judge whether air is actually flowing through a jacket. Now there's a bit less mesh on the front of this jacket compared to the original Eclipse, but there's a bit more on the back. So I'd say that overall it ends up about equal. Anyway, away from the mesh, the outer is made from 600 denier polyester. There's a chunky zip down the front. Though the small fabric sections that concealed the base of the zip here on the original jacket have gone from this sequel. The collar's got a simple popper closure and the lining for it this time is a neoprene sort of fabric rather than the corduroy type lining you got on the old Eclipse. The cuffs are dead simple, they're just Velcro flaps so you can wear your gloves under or over the top depending on your taste. I wore short gloves and that let even more air to get in here. Fit adjustments come from poppers above each elbow and then tabs on each side at the bottom hem. Again, it's really dead simple. You get two pockets and this time there are what you call zip garages at the top and bottom of each. So the pull tabs are tucked away and they won't flap about and that's an upgrade over the original Eclipse. Moving to the inside of this jacket, again it's not going to take long to run through all these details. There's one internal pocket in the lightweight mesh liner and then the pockets that you get for the armour. Shoulder and elbow armour is standard and it's Revit's C-Smart armour. It's soft, it's light, it allows plenty of airflow and it meets the basic level one of the CE impact protection standard. It also passes the optional tests that show it meets the same standard when it's very very hot or very very cold. Knowing the armour still works when it's very hot is especially handy in a jacket that's designed to be worn in high temperatures. There's a pocket inside the jacket for a back protector as well, but you will need to buy one of those separately if you want one. The inserts are £39.99 as we record this, and there's a link to the listing in the description below. If you're wondering what size of insert you need, it depends on the size of your jacket. There's a chart on the listing for the back protector that helps you get the right one for your jacket. In terms of protection overall, the Eclipse 2 meets the most basic level within the CE standard, which is single A. For connecting to trousers, there are also two poppered elastic loops which feed through the belt loops on your jeans. It's highly likely, I'd say, that people will wear this jacket with a pair of denim jeans, and I found that those loops worked very well at connecting the two. Let's just quickly cover off sizing as well. For blokes, there are sizes from extra small up to 4XL, which covers a range from 38 inches at the chest up to 52 inches. We get a choice of five colours in this first season of the Eclipse 2. We've got black, silver, olive, grey or this dark blue colour. There's a woman's version as well. That comes in sizes 6 through to 18 in three colour options. And those colour options are black, silver or aubergine. OK, so my experience of this jacket is that it does exactly what it's meant to. It allows air to flow into the jacket and also for body heat to escape quickly. You'd only really want to wear this for very warm days. It is quite lightweight as well, so really it's best suited to urban riding or chilling out in the country. If you want something that's a bit more versatile, then maybe take a look at Revit's Tornado 3. That's got extra layers to cover a wider range of weather conditions, and there's a link to our review of that jacket popping up now. But if what you're after is something that you can hang up in the wardrobe and have it there as an option for when it's stinking hot outside, then this is probably going to be one of your top choices. That's what made the original Eclipse so popular, and this jacket takes over those duties perfectly. I hope that tells you everything you wanted to know about the Revit Eclipse 2 summer textile jacket, but if there is anything you'd like to ask or to add, then please pop a comment below. Thanks for watching.